Greetings everybody and welcome to my video. Tonight I'm going to show you a new project I was working on. Um, the schematic that I used was uh, musical notes, well the clefs actually. Um, there's the bass clef, there's the treble clef, and there's the tenor clef. It's, excuse my artwork. I uh, just threw it together. So, yeah, uh, I guess without further ado, I'll show you my project here. And that is bass clef. As you can see, it looks like a bass clef. We have the flow feed here. If this part right here is the feed, and that's the flow, then that's the feed and it flows through. And then the two black dots are the two streams of water that fall down. Okay, and then over here, we have treble clef. And uh, as you can see, I used a musical note there to make the shape of the Clef, it worked out real well. And here we have tenor clef. So, yeah, let me uh, get the picture out here. That's the tenor clef right there. So we have the main body, which is the thaw of black line at the top, which would be this tank right here. And then uh, they show a, 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 a secondary line coming off I just tapped right into that and then I have my overflow over here so I get uh, I get my even constant continuous flow because that's what a tenor clef the non-musical definition is a constant continuous flow and a bass of course is the bass and that's where the start of everything is and the treble clef the treble clef let's think of a fishing hook a treble hook which is a three-part system and uh, the treble hook ties the other two parts together so we have a three-part system we have bass clef we have the treble clef and we have tenor clef so that that connects the two parts and making it a three-part system I, I I don't know if that's what the whoever hid this in the music had in mind but that's how I see it so, you know, but we have to remember that schematics are uh, in everything. Um, we have electrical schematics, you know, we have uh, piping schematics, we have uh, welding schematics. Uh, architects have a different schematic than a mechanical engineer does. Uh, it, it, you know, and all a schematic is is a pictorial representation of something whether it be a person place a thing or an idea okay so um, if we look at a schematic to uh, say for instance uh, on a map I know uh, not too many people that are familiar with maps anymore because of GPS but on a map down in the corner it tells you there's it's called a key and the key tells you what the different symbols on the map represent. Okay, so the key is the unlocking of the understanding of what you're looking at. That's what the that's why they call a cleft a key because it unlocks the understanding of the music and music. In this case, it unlocks the understanding of a Kelvin thunderstorm machine. So, yeah, so, you know, uh, a cleft is a key. If you look up the word cleft, it tells you the cleft is a key, and the key is the unlocking of the understanding. So, I have uh, used that key unlock the understanding and 
Now we have a Calvin Thunderstorm machine, if you want to call it that, or a cleft fountain, or I don't know, you call it whatever you want. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my new project I'm working on. Uh, I got some more stuff I want to do to it, but I don't know if I'm gonna post any videos about it or not. Um, I, you know, I haven't been able to sleep. Uh, this thing was like gnawing in my crawl, and uh, I had to build it, and now I have it sitting down here running. And I thought that, you know, if I built it, that, you know, I could get some peace. But it doesn't seem to be happening. So that's why I made this video. I'm hoping that sharing it with the world will bring me some peace. And that's what I wish for all of you. Have a wonderful evening. Peace.